Now, on to a brewery, where chemistry genius Annalisa Emig is carefully preparing an explosive bar trick. Nitrogen triiodide, are you all familiar with that? No. Yeah. Nitrogen triiodide is made from household ingredients. They're fairly benign, but when combined, they can create something quite surprising. So we're gonna go from heaviest to lightest, starting with the heaviest thing that I could think of, a water balloon. Darren, you ready? <laughs> Definitely ready. Annalisa? Yep, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> so it works. In its wet form, nitrogen triiodide is not that sensitive. That's why Annalisa was able to handle it before. But as it dries, the crystallized form becomes highly explosive and increasingly sensitive to any disturbance, like this water balloon. When I set it off, you saw that purple cloud, and that's the iodide vapor. And then nitrogen gas was also produced. And you can't see that, but it's in the air all around us. We're going to go lighter. What about a feather? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whose feather is that? Where did that come from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have one last thing. And what is lighter than a feather? Air. Nick is our aerospace engineer. So this is going to hopefully set off our reaction. Yeah, this going to be cool. Nick, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, this is not anything you should ever try at home. Nick's small toy drone stirred up enough air from just a few feet away to do this. I had no idea what nitro triiodide was, and it was really interesting to see how just the tiniest bit of exposure to anything else can make it corrupt. So it was really cool to see. Nitrogen triiodide. <laughs> nice piloting, Nick. <laughs>